is a women's bantamweight championship fight between Misha T and Tisha Tiny Tornado Torres. All right, here's the number one women's bantamweight contender. She believes for a while she's been the best at 135 pounds. She's making the walk tonight, staring down the champion. Confidence, not an issue. Fear, not a factor. We'll see if this talented number one contender can shed that label and leave with a new one as the UFC women's bantamweight champion. So here she is, the undisputed UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion. How about the confidence as she makes the walk here tonight? She wants to get in there, take care of business, and go eat some buffalo wings in the back. She's been the best 135er in the world now for some time. Another title defense, what's in front of her? She doesn't try to make the moment too big. And even though the challenger has a lot of momentum here tonight, she knows she's the hunted for a reason and is looking to prove that she is still the best in the world at 135. Our tale of the tape for this, our main event of the evening. So three years the gap in age between these two fighters. Some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the particulars, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve LeBain. And now! This is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC Bantamweight Championship of the World. It's Rudy first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This woman is a kickboxer, holding a professional record on. 11 wins, 5 losses. She stands 5 feet 1 inch tall, weighing in at 115 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Pelota, presenting the challenger, Keisha the Tiny Tornado Torres. And now, introducing the champion. Fighting out of the red corner. This woman is a grappler, holding a professional record of 18 wins, 7 losses. She stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, USA, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC women's bantamweight champion of the world, Misha Cupcake Tate! UFC belt on the line. Come back yourself at all time. Obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now. Go back to your corner. The fighters touch him up. So here we go, one of the better strikers in this division. She is facing one of the better grapplers this division has ever seen. Pretty straightforward as to what you expect both of these fighters to do here. I expect them to follow the game plan that got them to the show. You don't get cute in these situations. Right, right. You don't get cute in these situations. You rely on what got you here. If you're a great grappler, get close. Make contact, use your trips and throws to get the fight to the mat. If you're the striker, you need to be at distance. She has to maintain space so that she can time a counter and hopefully end the night of this fantastic grappler. All 
All right, so there's that kick to the leg, and you can be sure she's going to go back to the well with that. She's beating up that lead leg, dominating it, and slowing down her opponent. Look for her to continue doing that same technique. Dig and kick. And she caught the kick. And they separate. Well, she lands the punch there. You know, it's one thing to have an edge in reach. It's another thing to take advantage. Nicely done by her there. Just over three minutes to go in our first round. Again, back into this position. Another clinch position. Effective punch there by Tate. Oh, nice leg kick by him there, DC. She disguises it really well. When she gets the right moment, she drives her shin right into her opponent's stop. I'm not sure her striking has ever looked better, DC, finding the range with relative ease here tonight. She's doing a great job of timing everything. She is seeing everything out there. Stuffs the takedown shot there. How good is her takedown, D? Nice kick. Beautiful boxing here from Tisha Torres. She spent some of her past training camp in Colorado, but finished up camp at American Top Team. She believes the structure there leads to an increased accountability. And hopefully that will help her get the desired result here tonight. Battling for hooks. Right hand on point. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Tate. Nice. where she is. She's in the octagon. Still. She can't possibly know where she is right now. After taking such a massive head kick. Oh, nice right hand. Big kick lands. Wild swing there. All right, so a pretty good series of kicks by her there as she continues to really land at will tonight. I mean, there is no tell to when she is going to throw that kick. And before her opponent can react, the leg is already back and loaded up again. All right, the round is over, but not before she landed one of the true highlights of this calendar year, that Superman punch, and it landed flush. Great job just allowing yourself to do whatever you are thinking in the moment, to let your mind be free. She may have practiced this before, but to try it in real-life competition is a whole different story. She did that, and it landed. Feel me flow as naughty by nature, <laughs> might say. All right, second round underway. Torres gets caught with that punch. Don't be afraid to get that head off the center line. There's no give on that leg kick. Pretty good connection by her there on the knee, and I don't care where you are getting me. It doesn't feel good, and I'd imagine you don't want to take too many. She thought they'd be available, and she was exactly right. A pinpoint jab placement there, and a nice job to take advantage of her edge and reach. So again, they will flinch here. Good series of strikes by her there. She is staying wicked busy to me. Very busy, but also super accurate. She is on point. Nice. nice. Well, she's... Huge connection by her there. Lower the curtain. Bring the cast out. Bring the cast if you take the ball. The uh -huh. night's over. Nice kick. Well, the right hand has been there for her tonight at times. Not that time. Obvious redness now on the left side of her body, courtesy of those body kicks. And they separate. Oh, stuffs the takedown without issue. And now she's got the tie clinch. Liver kick, if you take those kicks, it's gonna shut your body off. Nice punch by Tate. Clinch. Well, she was a little bit hesitant in round one, but she has certainly picked up the pace here in this second round. It took her a while to find her range. She's in a strong striking rhythm now. Again, back into this position. Another clinch position. Tate gets caught with that punch. Gotta shore up the defense here. 
Well, if she connects with a right hand, she loves that right hand, and why not? It's her best punch, and if her opponent doesn't change something, she's gonna go to sleep. And they separate. Left hand punch in the clinch. Again, she chooses to clinch here. Able to check that kick as well. Oh, that's a good right hand. Tate gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. Oh, she's really starting to put together some significant body shots here, attacking both sides now. Good punch. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Again, they will clinch. We'll see how it goes. like that would have felled lesser women, but she survives and gets to fight another round. She's as tough as they come. She's sitting on her bench right now telling her coaches, I'm good, I'm ready to go. That was just a moment. I'm still gonna get the victory. I believe she has to change something. She cannot continue to do the same thing and expect a different result. You ready? You ready? Here we go, third round of this championship fight. All right, so she continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like she did in the previous round. As efficient as any striker in the division, this is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Big head kick. Ooh, beautiful connection by her on that punch. She's so fast when she throws. Oh, hard work pays off, lands the Superman punch for punch. Oh, and the jab to the head on the counter. So she's got a huge reach advantage, and you saw it in a very pronounced way as she landed that counter jab. Stuff the takedown, no problem. Oh, oh, she can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. Well, I hope the judges recognize that she's blocking the majority of these shots. She's doing a beautiful job, I think, defensively. She's doing a great job defensively. Oh! Oh, oh yes, now we're going. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed, and it looks like she's going to finish this fight. Oh, nice job defensively there to get the guard up. Shot is blocked by Tate. Well, this is exactly the sense of urgency you'd want to see from her here. She's trying to keep the... Oh, 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 oh. You can never know. She hurt her back. Back to the feet. Oh, oh no. Oh. oh. Can't take pictures now. She has to react. She has to go chase the finish. So she's holding on to her here, not doing too much, really just looking to recover. Well, that one should leave a mark. Outstanding leg kick employed there by Torres. Just missed with the left there. Oh, big elbow. Torres gets in the clinch yet again. And they separate. Commitment to excellence. She finally gets this fight to the ground after many failed attempts. She was not discouraged. Now she has this fight exactly where she wants it. She's hurt bad. 20 seconds left. Trying to stay in this fight. Beautiful kick. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship rounds. All right, so that's the end of the round, and we'll see how she deals with this cut on her cheek. It is not getting better, ladies and gentlemen. I guess that goes without saying. The cut man will try to nip it in the bud and prevent it from becoming more of a factor here moving forward.
right, here we go. I'm excited, man. Fourth round is underway as we hit these championship rounds. Both of these women with a lot still left in the tank, or so it seems. They did a great job of preparing themselves for the long fight. Let's see who can sustain the energy over the next 10 minutes. Can you believe she is able to keep up this output just as she did in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes here and not slowing down whatsoever? She looks like she could go 10 hard fives. If oh, oh. She is such a diverse striker that that big strike landed and it looks like she's gonna finish this fight. Both fighters throwing heat now. Takedown defense holds up. Left hand punch. Wow. You can never know what you're gonna see with this young lady. Is she gonna finish the fight? And how much more can Misha take? Take. Big elbow. Half guard position for her here, and this is a spot where we've seen her have a lot of wild success in previous fights. She has a tremendous amount of success from this position because she's so knowledgeable. She keeps the right side underhook and she just goes to work with that left arm. She's posting an elbow. Torres is looking for that arm triangle. So there she is as the celebration continues in the corner. The queen of the 135ers, the UFC Women's Bantamweight Champion, your winner tonight by way of submission. What a way to get the job done and leave with the UFC gold. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at three minutes, 17 seconds of round number four. Declaring the winner by submission, beautiful arm triangle choke. excited this makes me. We got a new UFC champion in the women's bantamweight division. A lot of history in this division, and she adds to it tonight. And this is a division that the belt can change hands. A lot of people have worn the UFC women's bantamweight championship, and tonight she joins a list of...